There are some novelties in uh, therapy of lower risk MDS. Uh, the best known, I think, is uh, Luspatercept, uh, that is the ligand trap for uh, GDF11 and other ligands to the uh, active in uh, to be uh, receptors. Um, this drug that is uh, blocking uh, TGF beta and uh, analogs pathway, it's inducing the terminal erythroid uh, um, maturation in MDS patient, patients who carry SF3B1 mutation or a diagnosis as MDS RS. So, myelodysplastic syndrome with ring celloblast. This is, I think, the drug is approved and is uh, available in uh, uh, many countries. It's a sub-Q drug that gives 47, almost 48% of transfusion independence in patients who have already been treated with ESAS or are ineligible for ESAS which means that not everybody responds because this is only for a subgroup of MDS. And for the others who lose response to ESAS, that is still the first-line treatment for lower-risk anemic MDS patient, um, are experimental dra investigational drugs like imetostat, that is a, 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 a telomerase inhibitor, that is... Um, indicatively in the preliminary results, um, achieving 42% of transfusion independence, and is probably having a disease uh, modification activity. Now, the phase three randomized trial has just been closed, and we, uh, we will see the final results to judge whether this is a promising new therapy. Um, other approaches are completely different. For instance, uh, Roxadustat is an oral drug that is uh, uh, an inhibitor of the um, hydroxylase, uh, HIF, uh, uh, one of hydroxylase, has been approved for treatment of uh, anemia related to uh, renal insufficiency in dialytic and non-dialysis patients. Um, it is under evaluation for MDS, it seems that 38% uh, of uh, patients with lower risk MDS may respond, but they're very strict uh, subgroup of patients with uh, lower uh, transfusion burden. And again, I already mentioned that uh, you may use uh, um, hypomethylating agents for treatment of lower risk uh, MDS. Uh, we have now two oral Astex 727 has been approved uh, in the uh, US for treatment of all subtype of MDS, not yet in Europe, but it's, a, uh, it's the oral decitamine. Therefore, it's very interesting for treatment of patients who have um, not only anemia, but possibly also other cytopenias. And I have to uh, remind here that uh, there are a couple of studies ongoing to show the activity of this drug, even used at lower dose than the standard ones indicated. So again, we will have to wait some months to get uh, the final results for this. And um, some of this drug may be combined. I already mentioned the lenalidomide combined to uh, ESAS, um, but there are studies uh, proposing Uspatercep combined to ESAS. And of course, we will see whether the uh, oral uh, uh, hypomethylating agents will be uh, combined with uh, other drugs like uh, ESAS as well.